Hi class, this video is to help you navigate through the subsidized, unsubsidized loan problem. So in your Alex homework, you should have noticed that you have a problem similar to this. When Deshaun had four years left in college, he took out a student loan for $15,110. The loan had an annual interest rate of 5.1%. Deshaun graduated four years after acquiring the loan and began repaying the loan immediately upon graduation. According to the terms of the loan, Deshaun will make monthly payments for three years after graduation. During the four years he was in school and not making payments, the loan accrued simple interest. Answer each part, do not around intermediate computations and round all answers to the nearest cent. Okay, so we have two parts here. Part A, we have Deshaun's loan as a subsidized loan, find the monthly payments, and then unsubsidized, find the monthly payment. Okay, so let's talk about subsidized versus unsubsidized first. When you take out a college loan, your loan is either subsidized or unsubsidized. You should know what type of loan you have, and if you don't, you should talk to the financial aid advisor about the loan you have. Subsidized loans are when the government will pay your interest while you're in school. So you typically take out the loan as a freshman or whatever year you take the loan out. When you graduate, the loan will be at the principal amount, and then after graduation, you'll start seeing interest on the loan and you'll start paying the interest. During the time you're in school, the loan is accruing interest, but the government's paying it for you, so you're not going to see that principal get larger as you're in school. You won't have to worry about the principal until you're done with school on a subsidized loan. In terms of this problem, we're going to assume that the interest is going to start right after graduation. In terms of most subsidized loans, they actually start making you pay back six months after graduation. So that's another thing you want to make sure you check with um, on your loans. For an unsubsidized loan, that means that the government is not going to be paying that interest for you. So while you're in school, your principal amount on that loan is going to accrue interest. So by the time you graduate, it's, not, it's going to be greater than $15,110. You will have interest being added onto the amount the entire time you're in school. And if you decide not to make any payments till graduation, you'll see that principal grow and then you'll have to divide up that money with the interest and start making payments. Okay, so back to our problem. How do we navigate this? Okay, so first thing you should notice, we are looking for monthly payments here. In both of these problems, we're trying to find the monthly payments. So we're gonna break out our monthly payment formula. You should find this on your formula sheet. So that M equals P times R over 12, all over one minus one plus R over 12 to the negative 12 T. Okay, so part A. Part A, we're working with a subsidized loan. So we have graduated. We have not seen any interest pile up on that loan. So at graduation, we are sitting with the principal amount of $15,110. We have that rate they give us in the problem, 5.1%. And then after graduation, we're going to make monthly payments of three years. So our T would equal three. Notice I did not use the four here. The four is while Deshaun's in school. We're in a subsidized loan, so we don't care about how many years he's in school for. We're not accruing interest there. We only care about how long it's going to take him to pay it back, which is the three years. Okay, so we get our P, our R, our T. Substitute it all into the formula and do our calculation. So we would have M equal to that 15,110. The rate converted into a decimal over 12. All over 1 minus 1 plus that rate again over 12 to the negative 12 times the number of years after graduation, which is 3. All right, we substitute all, all this in. We put it all into our calculator, one giant step with a ton of parentheses to make sure the order, order of operations works, and you should get $453.54 when you round it. So if Deshaun needs three years to pay off this $15,110 loan, he should be paying $453.54 each month to pay it off in three years. So that's our subsidized payment. Okay, now let's talk about unsubsidized. So that's part B. Okay, so unsubsidized. We have earned interest on this loan while we're in school. So the principal amount is going to be larger than this 15,110. So first thing we need to do for the unsubsidized is we need to calculate all the interest we have accrued while in school. 
This is where we use the four years. So in our problem says, he graduated for four years. During the four years in school, he was not making payments. The loan accrued simple interest during those four years in school. So simple interest, we're gonna break out our simple interest formula. That's our I equals PRT. So we are taking out that loan for $15,110. We are gonna have that same rate. And then if this is going to sit and accrue interest for four years that we're in school. So we'll use our P value of 15,110. We'll have that same rate. And then this is for four years while we're in school getting our degree. So our T would be four. So we substitute this all in and we get the interest we have accrued while in school. All right, so we have 15,110 times 0 0.051 for that rate times four. And this should give you $3,082.44. So in school, while Deshaun was in school, this is the amount of interest he earned on his loan. So that means at graduation, his principal amount at graduation, I'm gonna call this principal for grad, principal graduation, this is going to be that initial amount he took out plus that simple interest he earned while in school. So we'll total those up and that should give you 18,192.44. This is our new P value for the unsubsidized loan. So this means once Deshaun graduates, this is the principal amount he's having to pay off because he accrued interest during school. So then now that we know the principal amount he needs to pay off, now we can go back to our monthly payment formula and then we can see how much his monthly payments need to be to pay off this $18,192.44 in three years. So we're gonna follow our monthly payment formula. Let me copy it down since I lost it. That's our M equals P times R over 12, all over one minus one plus R over 12 to the negative 12 T. Okay, so this is for the unsubsidized. So our p-value for the unsubsidized is at 18,192.44. Our rate is still that 5.1%. Our time now is three years because he's going to make payments three years after graduation. All right, let's substitute this all in, calculate. So we'd have our m is equal to that 18,192.44 times that rate over 12, all over one minus one plus that rate again, over 12, to the negative 12 times the number of years, which is three. So just like before, plug all this into your calculator in one big step, use a ton of parentheses to make sure your order of operation works out, you should get $546.06 and six cents. 546.06. So if your loan is unsubsidized, you will accrue that simple interest, which means you have a larger amount to pay off when you graduate. So we have a larger monthly payment. So unsubsidized monthly payment would be 546 and six cents. Subsidized monthly payment is at 453.54. All right, I hope this helps you guys understand subsidized versus unsubsidized. Let me know if you guys have any questions.